like the Kimball because there's so many amazing art pieces and they just speak to me. In class, we see printed pictures, but whenever we go to the Kimball Museum, we see the real, actual paintings. It's an amazing painting. Imagine if this was in someone's house. You would never even know it existed. So museums are our cultural treasure box for everybody. That's, that's what keeps our culture alive. Whenever we got off the bus, I was really excited because with all the fountains and the trees, I like the trees. You can tell that the architects put time and feeling into the way they designed this because like, it's not like they just planted it there, they just used the sidewalk and just put it right there just to lead you there. They actually put time and effort into what they were making. As soon as you walked into the building, it was really pretty just seeing all kinds of beautiful art. My name is Connie. I work here in the education department and I'm joined by our wonderful docents and they're going to take you on a guided tour of the permanent collection. I'm sure your teachers talked to you a little bit about museum manners um, for when you visit the art museum. Who can tell me the number one most important thing? Oh, so many hands. That's awesome. Okay. Will you tell me, sir? Do not touch the uh, artwork. We are really excited to have you all here today. Are you ready to go see some artworks? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. A docent is like a tour guide. It's a lot easier to ask them what their opinion is or you can just ask them something about the painting if you don't understand it. You have more interaction than just somebody talking to you like, okay, this is the painting. It's better than video games and more exciting whenever you can find a painting that you really like and you can make new favorites. The paintings to me draw me in closer to what it felt like back then and it shows me all people's hopes and dreams. You have this in your classroom, you said? You have this in your art room at school? Everybody has black stripes on their clothing, and he's using those to get your eye to move around the painting. I like paintings like that because there are paintings that tell a story. Sometimes you will recycle something, repurpose things. It was actually a cobra, which was a symbol of royalty for the Egyptians. I think the most exciting part was the Weeping Willow because it had so many different perspectives for everyone else in my group. Notice that towards the middle, uh, the two sides look almost even in color. Like over there, the sun's already set. You know, it's very bumpy. There's lots of thick paint. He maybe applied the paint thicker so he could really see the color. Art is important to me because it shows a way that of expression. And it can also be sometimes a key to the past. Okay, we're gonna talk about this piece right here. This is a piece from Mexico. This is a Mayan piece. Can you see something on there that looks like writing? To me, it kinda looks like Egyptian writing. Who do you think is the most important person? That on the top. So if he's the highest, he's the what? King. He's the king. Whenever you have to leave, it's like, oh, man. You feel kind of sad because it might be a while before you come back and you want to really remember, so you talk about it with your friends so you can keep the memory alive. It's helped me love art even more. The artist, the details, the design of the building, it's art inside of art inside of art. It just goes on forever.